Let the church of God believe God. You have faith in him. You are a whoever who can say whatever and we have it. Oh, come on. Praise the Lord. Teach your faith to grow. Let it grow. Hmm? Many people, they discourage themselves before the devil starts even discouraging them. The woman with the issue of blood, she said, I will touch his game. She never said, he must touch me. You'll be disappointed if he will not touch you. It's more difficult to allow, to wait for him to touch you than you touching him. I'll touch him. So she fought her way. I'll touch him. At least it gives you room to fight for what you are believing. Then when she was going to say, I'll wait. If he's, going to touch, if he's not going to touch me, then he's not Lord. Like many of you say. <laughs> if the man of God is not going to talk to him, then God is not there. Are you serious? Let him touch me. I'll touch him. It's rather I'll touch him. So touching me is much easier than waiting for him to touch you. Simplify your faith. Don't complicate your faith. Praise God. You have never believed for a cool drink in your entire Christian walk. You start to want to believe. You are claiming you are holding on a certain guy and say, Lord, I'm taking this by faith. Lord, I'm taking. That's foolishness. Faith must grow by hearing and hearing the word of God. Praise God. And I like, I like Abraham's faith. It will never miss. It never started by receiving, wanting to receive, but it started by giving. Yes. 